sake. What did you do to Aeolas? I never laid a finger on him, Captain. But if you want my opinion, I think he screwed us over. So you had to kill him? That was our fucking employer. Could you not take two God's damn seconds to think about that? I didn't kill him. It was this woman, Edwin. She killed him. That's what they told me. That doesn't change the fact that that dish rag of a scribe was our client. And your job was to protect him. If he was trying to fuck us over, it's up to me to deal with that. And for a starter, where did this wee tart that's spilling out of her dress come from? She was his prisoner in the swamp. Looks like he was trying to get information out of her, which she obviously didn't give him, considering she's still alive. All right, then. Maybe she can be of use to us. I already spoke with Aeolas' assistant. Seems he pulled the wool over their eyes as much as he did ours. They're petrified. So they've agreed to honor their contract with us. I need you to get this Edwin woman to talk. I want to know where she's from, who she is, who she works for. All of it. Watch out for the Red Scribes. We don't want to get fooled twice. Understood, Captain. I'll check it out. If you can find Hawk, tell him to get his arse back here. I sent him out on a recon mission and he still hasn't come back. You think something happened to him? Well, there aren't any decent whorehouses around here, so yes, something may well have happened to him. I'll find him, sir. Captain, have you had any news about Hawk? Are you trying to be funny? I sent you to find him. Is that demon of yours eating away your tiny brain or what? I'm leaving.
I came across this enormous creature. It's an absolute monster. You've never seen anything like it. Oh, I'd love to catch it. It would make one a hell of a trophy, but I'm not sure I can take it down alone. You feel like lending me a hand? You know the captain's looking for you? Fuck the captain. Oh, come on. He can wait. The beastie out there can't. It could lose itself in the mist at any moment, and we'd never find it. Okay, then. Considering how excited you are, I'm kind of curious to see the thing. Come on, let's go. Ah, yes! I owe you one, brother. Come on! Tell the captain not to worry about me. That's what I call a fucking trophy. I'm gonna dine out on this one. Look at that beauty. It makes your damned lobster face look a bit shabby.
Vulcan, I do love our little chats, but shouldn't you be doing something? Hawk will finish up his recon and head straight back. Don't worry, Captain. You've been working for me long enough to know one thing. I never worry. I'm leaving. Vulcan. Let me see what you've made this time. Greetings, Vulcan. I'd like to ask you a few things. So, feeling better since you got your forge back? Much better. I don't need to beg people anymore to make enough to eat. I'm back to work, and it's doing wonders for me. Even the steward is taking an interest in me. He came by to see me earlier and seemed pretty glad to have a second smith in the village. I have to say, the other's an ass. I mean, he's difficult, so... I'm leaving. See you later, soldier.
Vulcan, I do love our little chance, but shouldn't you be doing something? You wanted the Freeborn Blades to help the villagers. Is that still happening? As long as we have to stay here, yes. Why? Have you heard about these villagers who were acting strange? Yes, I've had reports about them. The whole thing stinks, if you ask me. Take that one over there, for example. The one giving me the fish eye. If we weren't stuck in this place, I'd go over there and put his lights out. I've asked Buffalo to keep an eye on them. If they start getting squadly, he'll give us a heads up. I'm leaving. The captain tells me you're keeping an eye on the villagers that are acting weird. Yes. Look at them. You see that couple? Take a good look at the husband. I've seen livelier zombies. It's like he was dead inside. And they aren't the only ones. There must be at least half a dozen of them. But what bothers me is that if you look closely, you can see they're checking everything out. But what's wrong with them? No idea. They look like they're turning into dead walkers. But the odd thing is how they're spread out. You see how they're placed? They can check out most of the village from where they are. I'm almost certain they're scouting the place out for someone. Since you seem interested, you should go and talk to them. Look, I've marked out their positions on the map. See you later. Are you related to this man? You might say that. Miliev is my husband. I'm called Nigella. Well, uh, uh, do you know what's wrong with him? Have you noticed anything strange about him lately? Well, of course I noticed. He's the one who's a vegetable, not me. Still, I must admit, it's been nice and peaceful. How long ago did he change? About three days ago. He went out hunting in the swamps, but when he came back empty-handed, he had that far-away look in his eyes. In what way, Peaceful? Is he normally an active guy? Active? You must be joking. But it's the first time in years I don't have to listen to him whinging and complaining all day long. And I don't know which of the gods I have to thank, but he don't snore no more, neither. You mean he sleeps soundly? Well, he sleeps less, if that's what you mean. I've even caught him sneaking out in the middle of the night, but he always comes back after a few hours. Do you have any idea where he goes off to? No, I've got no idea. 
not down the tavern, and that's the main thing. It doesn't bother you at all? Let's be honest. Considering the sort of women what are still available in the village, and what a rubbish lover he is, I doubt he's got a mistress. And he's hardly gonna find any gorgeous sluts wandering around the swamps. You might be surprised. You're too kind. I can't decide whether I'm flattered or vaguely insulted. Don't change a thing. You're perfect. So true. Thanks for noticing. Sorry to have bothered you. I'll go. We now know that our strange patients are going out at night. So, let's find out where they're going. Do you know this woman? Of course I know her. Her name's Agatha, and she's my wife these past eight years. Even if the old cow treats me like she doesn't know me. What happened to her? Ask her yourself. She don't talk to me no more. I know we had our ups and downs, but still. How long has she been like this? It come over her like a dose of the shits a couple of days ago. See, she, she goes off with, with Jervis and the others to go and collect berries in the swamp, and when they comes back, not one of them will talk to me. Where exactly did they go? What? How the fuck should I know? Uh, you'll pardon me, but gathering berries is women's work. But at any rate, they never go far. Otherwise, they never come back at all. So she didn't go alone? Jervis is one of Mason's men, isn't he? Yeah, that's him. There were five or six of them. Why did she go and ask Jervis? He should be over by the barracks. He'll have a better chance of talk to you if you don't mention me. Is there anything else strange about her, apart from the not talking? Well, she ain't much between the thighs, if that's what you mean. She don't say or do nothing. Just sort of lets me get on with it. She don't even pretend to notice what we're doing. Men, give them a piece of meat, and they're just a couple of minutes away from satisfaction. And sleep. Yeah, sure, but not every man is like that. True. Some are more discerning. Others show the meat a little more respect. I was only trying to give her a nice moment to patch things up between us, sort of. Er, uh, that's not really what I was asking about, to be honest. Oh, uh, sorry. Um, hang on. There might be something else. I woke up this night, and she weren't there. I must have dozed a half hour before I'd gone back to sleep, but she never come back. I never saw her again until sunrise. And I imagine you have no idea where she could have gone? None. And she wouldn't say nothing to me, like usual. I hope that bitch ain't off seeing another man. That's all I need. I can't imagine why she would want to do that. You seem like the perfect husband. I'll be leaving now. I think we'd better go back and talk to that drunken sot who pretends to be chief of the guard. We need to find out where that expedition is going.
Look at this. My favorite fucking troublemaker. A barfly like you probably knows a lot about the people here, I'm guessing, huh? Flattery will get you everywhere. What's your opinion of the steward? My opinion? Tell the truth. I never liked how he talks, like an elf reject. But he does what he can. And honestly, he manages better than I do. Him and me, we ain't always seen eye to eye. For example, if it had been up to me, I'd have driven them refugees back into the swamps. And fuck what that bleeding art apothecary says. You look like you can probably handle a sword. How come you didn't get recruited? Oh, uh, just unlucky, I suppose. Last time an Alliance recruiter come through, I was stuck in the crapper. Worst dose of the shits I ever had. Forget I even asked. So, I never got to the front. I can't tell you how much I regret that. How is it going with the refugees? I'm not a monster. I got nothing against sheltering a few brave souls. Most of my lads are blokes who are here to protect their families. But enough is enough. I just can't protect everybody. You can't squeeze a whole city into a fucking life raft. How well do you know Randall? Well, not enough to trust him, him with his heirs and all. The knight would this and the knight would that. Having said that, he has saved us from a few accidents in the village. He's a damn good fighter, and he don't ask questions. Balls of steel, that one. Sometimes, I think he must have a death wish or something. If that's so, he ain't taking the easy way out. But then, who gives a toss? When he turned up a few weeks ago, it certainly took some of the pressure off. But he acts like his shit don't stink. Obviously, me and the lads aren't good enough for the likes of him. According to the steward, some of the villagers have been acting strange. Your man Jervis, he seems even more out of it than the rest of your troops. Oh, him, yeah. Last couple of days, he's gone completely stupid. Shit. He's got it, too. He's gonna go all gaga like those other weirdos. The fact that he led all the other weirdos on an expedition didn't surprise you any? Where'd they go? Well, now you mention it, yeah, obviously. It makes sense. They went off toward the southeast, if I remember right. Worthless wine song. Right. I'll check it out. Do you have any suggestions? Hey, I'm not a bloody oracle. Bring me some clues, some concrete, anything, and then I can help you. Okay, I'll come back when I know more. I found out that they disappear during the night. And is that it? I imagine you'll have to follow them to find out what they do with their evenings and where they spend them. I'm going. Favorite fucking troublemaker. About those sentry guards. About those villagers who've been acting weird. Do you have any suggestions? We have to find out what the fuck they get up to at night. 
a bit of luck, we'll understand what's going on in the southeast. It'd be better if we start this evening. Wait till night falls. Hey, you don't doze off. It's time to go out for a stroll. I have to stay here and guard this sector. No surprises there. 